All right, I would say Elon One is the only coin in this crypto market that's bullish as F right now, um, or at least one of them, uh, because there's not many out there. So we've had some crazy buys in the last 24 hours, one of which now the bots are coming in. That's wow. Oh, we had another eight ETH buy. I didn't even see that one. What was that at? That was at almost midnight, 11 p.m. my time, 11.30 my time. Um, someone sold 5.8 ETH. I didn't even see any of this. What is the volume at? The volume is at 166,000, so that is up a little bit. Um, obviously, we're really close to launch. This was the one I was talking about. Um, so this guy right here is actually my Telegram group, um, and he has uh, said he'd buy more today, so uh, we'll see if he does. But, uh, yeah, so he put in 11 ETH, so that's like $30,000. Um, I want to look at this wallet, though, this 8 ETH buy. I want to see this one because I didn't know this one was going to happen. So um, if it loads, my computer's been really slow the last few days. I don't know what's going on. So he has $30,000 of Elon 1 right now. I just want to see if how many buys he's had of Elon 1 because some of these bigger wallets that have $30,000, even when it's at an all-time low, whether they just put it in, are going to be super wealthy when we do even a 10x or a 100x. I don't know if we do a 100x. A 90 I do think we do a 90x, though. Um, he, so he's bought Elon 1, it looks like, four different times. So I would say anyone over a trillion coins is a whale. Um, anyone is a small whale. Anyone over five trillion coins is a large whale. But I think if you have over a trillion coins of Elon 1, I think you're probably in the top 50 wallets. Um, so, and of course, the bigger wallets are going to earn uh, Elon one faster because then you get the two percent redistributions, and the more you have, the more the faster you can earn those redistributions. So, yeah, but apparently we're going to launch um, within the next. What is today? You have eight. We have eight days until launch at the most. Um, hopefully, it's going to happen within the next one to two, maybe by Monday, um, which is kind of what they were saying initially. But they also did say. At the very latest end of this month is when we're launching the market, or not the marketplace, but the Rocket Dash, which is a game that they're coming out with, and the minting for the marketplace. And then once all that's set up, they're going to come out with a marketplace, you know, a week or two later, based on how everything goes. Uh, but they just want to get that set up first before they launch the actual marketplace. Um, but minting will come out when all that comes out, when that news is announced, and when it actually is out. I just think this is going to happen. And much higher than that. Um, obviously, last time we had bullish news, I've said this before. I'll say it again. You did 8x in four days. I expect that to happen, if not way more, if not over an 8x. Because obviously, when this happened, you were low on the price. But I don't think that matters. Because the market cap is still only about 10 or $11 million right now. Um, it says it's uh, 16.8 minus 40%. So that'd be almost around 10 mil on my super rough math. So 10 or $11 million market cap right now is what the market cap is on this. Um, so I, I think it can go crazy. Um, and obviously, if you look on the super big time frame, if I go to the weekly chart and look at it this way, technically from this last low right here, let me draw it. From this last low, this was a higher low. So that is bullish if you look on the weekly scale. Obviously, if you look on the daily scale, it doesn't look as bullish, but it still is a higher low from this point to this point. Now I'm just drawing random lines, but you see what I mean. So it's a higher low if you look on the super big time frames. Um, so that, yeah, that's kind of all I got. I'm very bullish on it. It's my biggest holding. Actually, when it was down here yesterday, down here, for, for a while it went down to 13 because Ethereum was going down. Um... When it went down to, what was it, the low? 14 yesterday. I think it was 13 on um, on here. Um, but, because of the Ethereum going down. But I when it was that low, I was like, damn, I really want to buy some more Elon 1. I just have any money to do it. And, uh, yeah, so I wanted to buy more Elon 1 yesterday. I just never had the opportunity to do so. And then, the, obviously, the huge buys came in of 11 ETH and then 5.8 ETH or whatever the other one was. Um, so anyways, I never had the opportunity to, but I will tell you this, if it goes back down to 12, I don't see that happening, but if it somehow does go back down to 12, uh, or lower price wise, we're at 17 right now, I would buy more Elon one if I'd find a way to do it. Um, but anyways, that's all I got very bullish on this for the next eight days. Um, and I think I come back here in a week from today, we're way, way higher than this price. Even if they don't launch the marketplace for another eight days, I think seven days, if we're that close to market launching, I, I think we're at least in the twenties or thirties in a week from today. 
Um, I don't think the 20s would be hard at all. Um, and if the marketplace is out in a week from today, then we're going to be way above 30, in my opinion. That's all I got. I'll see you guys in the next one.